Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Rotaries and Jet Skis. We will be doing stuff with this jet ski again. Still waiting to get started on that one. I need to really get the Matilda 79 RX-7 done and the motorcycle before I start cracking into that because that's going to be a lot of work. But in this video we'll be going through and giving this jet ski a good solid cleaning. Uh, this jet ski it has been quite a while since it's been cleaned. It's been used a lot. It sits outside. We do put a cover on it, but the cover actually tore right along here a few months ago. So, and I, I got a tarp put under the cover. I'll be getting a new cover, but it really needs to be cleaned. And to do this, I'll be going through and first taking dish soap and washing the whole entire ski, and then going back over it with wax and waxing the ski. Um, I won't be focusing too much on like what to do with the foam because the foam is just really not nice on this ski and it actually shouldn't even be here on this one. This is a swing arm off of a newer 440 because the arm got broken by somebody riding this one and um, he gave us this one off of his ski <laughs> since, since he broke the other. But I'm going to be trying to find over time another ski or another arm without the foam on it and then um, putting the right decals onto it. So with that being said, uh, I'll bring y'all a little closer so you can see how dirty the ski really is. I know like from this far it doesn't really look that dirty, but it is. It really is. So I'll bring y'all closer and then we'll get to cleaning. Here's the closer look at the skis. You can see how dirty it really is. I mean, look at all that dirt down in there. Uh, if we lift up the arm, you can see how dirty it is down in here and all along the cap. It's just all so filthy. Um, you can see there's some rubber marks where the handlebar has been hitting there. There's water stains all on the side. Uh, you got the oil stains right here from the exhaust. There's a bunch of like kind of moldy stuff up in there, all around the filler cap. So we're just going to be going through and cleaning the whole thing off. So I guess I will go ahead and probably set y'all back up in the place it was, and I will just wash this thing uh, with a time lapse, and then I will get to showing you some of the more intricate spots that I need to get to with a cleaner wax and then waxing the whole ski.
Well, I got the uh, ski all cleaned up with the dish soap. Uh, I did cut the time lapse a little short. It was starting to get a little long and I had more to do and then it started pouring rain. So I had to stop for a while, wait for that to stop, and then I got back to washing it. Now it's still pretty damp over there. The ski's actually under a tree and water keeps dripping on it. So I can't really do any waxing with the water still dripping on it. So I pulled the cap off right over here and I will go ahead and just wax the cap off of the ski. That way you'll be able to watch what I do. I'll do a time lapse of it. You can see me wax it. And then uh, off camera, I'll go through and wax the rest of the ski. And then I can show you everything all cleaned up at the end. So with that being said, uh, I'll get this time lapse started and go ahead and start waxing up this cap. Well, it's all cleaned up and waxed up. It looks so much better than it did before. Uh, there is still a little bit of black right there into the exhaust. I couldn't get that off. And you know, the ski's not perfect. It's got its marks and scuffs, you know, like that big crack right there. But you step back 10 feet, thing looks awesome. So um, I think that's going to be it, about it for this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. And if you have your own ski, uh, let me tell you, all of this took maybe, if it didn't rain, it would be like two hours of work. So it's not that big of a deal to get your ski looking nice as well. Uh, now, if it's as bad as that one is, that one's going to take a lot longer. But you know what? I probably won't ever bother showing cleaning that one because honestly, I don't think that hole is actually gonna get used again. I'm gonna take another one and I'm gonna strip it down and totally re-gel coat it and everything. Uh, that hole is in really bad shape. The front's all cracked out of it. Uh, it has huge gouges in the bottom. There's so many holes drilled in the side. I'll, I'll probably start with another hole. But for this one, this one's now good to go. Um, I may take it for a little ride and throw that footage here at the end. So hopefully y'all enjoy watching this get cleaned and can use some of that for your own ski.